Have you ever wondered how to get a job in IT? Well, stick around for the video and I'll give you my best tips to get a job in IT. So I know one of the first questions that's gonna come up is certifications or degrees. Well, there's pros and cons of each, so let's go through those first. So starting out with the certification pros, for one, with certifications you get usable skills. So things that you can actually go into a job and use on day one. Certifications are also way less expensive than a college degree. You might only pay a few hundred bucks for a certification and maybe a couple books. And you also get certifications a lot faster. It's much easier to get a certification within, you know, say six months compared to a degree, which might take you two, three, four, five years to get. What about some of the cons of certifications? Well, for one, certifications usually expire. So they might be linked to specific operating systems or releases of certifications. So with just certifications, you might actually also reach a point where you can't progress without a degree. Certain companies will prevent you from progressing into say like a manager job if you don't have a degree. Certifications also don't provide some of those professional skills that you need. Things like communication skills or relationship building. So what about college? Let's go to the pros of college. So a college degree is widely accepted. Everybody knows what a college degree is. College degrees also provide some of those professional skills that you need. Things like communication skills, relationship building, social interactions. College degrees also allow for a wide range of coursework. So you might take classes in a whole bunch of different areas. Maybe like accounting and communications and humanities, as well as your normal classes for your major. And then of course college degrees are required for a lot of higher level jobs. Sometimes a master's degree might even be required. So what about the cons? Well, a college degree takes several years to attain. Like I said earlier, it might take you two, three, four, five years to get a college degree. You also might have to take classes that you really don't care about. They'll tell you they're good for you, but you might not enjoy it very much. College degrees are also a lot more expensive. So there's people that rack up hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt for a college degree. Don't do that. And then also when you're getting a college degree, you might not be getting paid. For instance, if you're doing certifications, you probably have a job at the same time. When you're going to school for a degree, you might not have time to have a job during the year. So let's start talking about the roadmap of how you need to progress. So initially you need to build your foundation. You need to get a job, okay? Getting that initial job is very important because that sets you on the right path. You might start out with a job that you really don't enjoy or it might not be your ideal job, say like a help desk job, but you need to get entry into the industry. So within your current job, once you get that original job, you need to really focus on the technology that you're using, focus on how things are changing, maybe new technologies that are coming up and getting implemented, and really start to continue to learn. Also, volunteer. Volunteer with the more senior people in your company or in your roles. You may not get paid for it, but the more experience you get, it'll only help you. Experience is king. And then of course, studying. So how do you pick what you study for? Well, you should definitely study for what you use first so you're the best in your job. And then as you progress, start studying things that really, really interest you and where you wanna go with your career. So it's come time to get that next job. What do you do? You really need to pick a job that aligns with your interests. So kind of going back to the studying part, you kind of should start to know where you wanna go or at least what interests you and start looking for jobs down that path. So when you leave your job and you go to another job, you should definitely look for at least a 15% increase in pay. If you get less, it's not gonna be as helpful. You wanna make big jumps when you move on. And then keep fine tuning your interests. So keep learning more about yourself, what you enjoy, what you wanna do in your career. So what about certifications? So initially you have those basic kind of foundational certifications that go along with that first job a lot of times. So things like Network Plus from CompTIA, Linux Plus from CompTIA, MCSA from Microsoft, CCNA from Cisco. A lot of what you'll learn will build on these initial certifications. And then once you progress out of that area, you need to still focus on what's going to make you happy in your job. What do you want to work with? Kind of start picking your path, right? Do you like networking? Do you like system administration? Do you like security? Getting certifications like Security Plus from CompTIA 
or MCSE from Microsoft or CCMP from Cisco. There's a whole bunch of different certifications that help you go down the path that you want to go down. You really want to hone in on your specialization as you get to that more advanced level. So if you pick security, maybe you want to do penetration testing or security monitoring. You really want to start to think about these things as you progress and get down to that advanced level. So something else that you can do within your career pursuit so you're ready for those next level jobs is you can actually go to indeed.com and you can search for jobs and so you can just type in a topic like IT director and just go pick relevant jobs. They will actually tell you what kind of skill sets they're looking for and then you can try to hone how you're going about your career and learn those skills. And I've definitely done this for other jobs just to have an idea of what people are looking for. and That's really helped. I know that there was a lot of content packed in here and it was pretty quick, but definitely always be thinking about your career. Think about those next steps down the line. Think about what kind of skills you need to build, what kind of volunteering you need to do. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and until next time, I'll see you later.